Hello, Ceanothus. And this plant is simply extraordinary. She's covered in bumblebees. Just covered. The sound of these Ceanothus just now around the landscape is amazing. Joe, do you have anything to say about Ceanothus? I've got a bit to say about Ceanothus. There's a number of sorts. They're all tough. They're nitrogen fixers. They come in a range of colors. There's this is there's this blue. There's this kind of blue, and there's another one that's more of a purple. Yeah. Um, you can prune them back hard if you need to. You can make them good wind resistant, deep rooted. Are they nitrogen fixers? They're nitrogen fixers. They're nitrogen fixers. Typically, I think, relatively short-lived in the big scheme of things, but you can... Ex this one's been here for probably, I don't know, 20 at least years, and it tends to love it. And you can see down here, it's got some flowers, and in, even in a pretty shady location and new growth, so if I were to, like, whack it to here, it was getting too big or something, it would easily bush back out from this point. So you've been different. pruning it, basically. Yeah. yeah. You could whack it hard. Yeah. But they grow fast, and the nice thing, so you don't have to plant a big one. You can get them in gallon-sized pots, and you'll, they'll be big fast if you want to plant a lot of them. So I yeah. think they're a great asset to the landscape, and obviously, great bee forage. Yeah, astonishing. And there's not harsh. that many things of this kind of stature that get this kind of color in our... <laughs> yes, it's, it's gorgeous. She's gorgeous, isn't she? She's just stunning, that color in a landscape, that sound. What a glorious meeting of realms in a symphony of love. I can tell you a bit more about it if you want. Do you want me to talk into this or let me just talk? Hold on. Let me put the camera down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh,